Welcome to the second part uh, of my visit to Pliska. We are here on the processional or the Parat way, who means from the city, so from the crowds, the king's palace, to the basilica. What you see here on the side, it's not the foundation of a wall. This was actually during the time the way or the path meaning to the basilica. The Pliska Great Basilica complex is an important monument of medieval Bulgarian culture from the Christian period, so the second half of the 9th century to the middle of the 11th century. The so-called Great Basilica, the Archbishop's Residency, the first Bulgarian monastery, were located on an area of more than 20 decars, surrounded and protected by a stone granulate wall of nearly four meter high. An early Christian complex, a martyrium, a martyri, composed by a cross-like temple and the well with the holy spring, existed there before the erecting of the basilica. The martyri was destroyed during the unsuccessful uprising of the pagan disciples in 865. The ruling prince Boris Mikhail became a founder of a new temple erected at the place of the martyry. This was in a token with the victory of the Christianity in Bulgaria. The Great Basilica was completed circa in the year 875. It could be rated amongst the greatest cathedrals in the early medieval Europe due to its impressive sites of 99 times 30 meters and of its complex structure. It executed the function of a cathedral, a king's, archbishop's and monastery church and was a center of the spiritual and religious life of the capital Pliska and early medieval Bulgaria at the same time for about 250 years. The Archbishop's residency was situated in the yards northwards and southwards of the temple, a residential palace, and to the west of it, a bath with Hippocos were investigated in the northern yard. A three part building with the Didas Colenium, so a school, and the scriptorium was investigated to the south of the basilica. Probably the disciples of Cyril and Methodius, who founded the Pliska Preslav Literary School of the Slav language, were there. The ruling prince Boris Mikhail received them in the year 886. The monastery premises were located in the yard to the north of the residency. The kitchen and the dining room were situated in the central part, a two store building with the 10 similar premises. <sighs> the great basilica of Pliska. <laughs> Under a plumbing sun. Hey! <laughs> These were the cells for the monks and they were located in the eastern part of the yard. The large monastery well was in the middle of the yard and next to it the second bath equipped with hippocos and crossstone structure. A necropolis with the graves of the members of the confraternity was engaged in the yard to the southwest of the basilica, a public necropolis with graves of the aristocrats was investigated in front of the abscess of the basilica. Mm -hmm. 
evening of the second day. It's not so good that we thought and we really made a very big mistake. This is absolutely not the season to go from the sea inside the country. It's so hot, there is no wind and from our friends when we start we were six so only Diana, my girlfriend and me, we are left. This is um, an adventure that you have to do in late September or in October or maybe in April, May but between June and September it's absolutely impossible because of, uh, of the heat here and the mosquitoes and yeah we are stinking like horses because we are full of this uh, cream anti-mosquito cream now it was a bad plan to do it and to go away from our beloved Black Sea to go inside the country with this uh, kind of temperatures and anywhere we go we are the only guests there is there are no more guests than, than only we uh, because nobody is so stupid to uh, travel inside the country during this uh, period of heat yeah I, I, I cannot say that I'm um, that I'm disappointed that much it's it's hard it, it's really hard but I'm okay. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow uh, we are now here near to this uh, natural reservation. And uh, well, maybe you have seen it before, or I will put it uh, when I edit this film uh, this uh, black cormorants, this uh, midget cormorants, a lot of birds, and that is here the beginning of this reserve. And tomorrow morning, and what we are planning to do is to stand up at 5, if even it's possible, stand up at 5 in the morning, to be there around 6, and uh, after just after the sunrise. So from 6 to 9, maybe we have a suitable weather, and it's, uh, it's possible to go outside, because the temperature will be slightly below 30 degrees. But after 10, 36, 40 degrees, we are in Fahrenheit, we are wide over 100 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, maybe, I don't know, yeah, the other river, there are ferry boats to go to Romania. So we made a quick jump over to Romania. In September, that will be another travel, me alone with my bike. Uh, yeah, I will meet maybe other YouTubers. Maybe I will meet uh, one species in Greece, so uh, that will be for September. And no more out from my Black Sea during this period of heat. Oh no, no more. <laughs> well, so tomorrow morning I will show you only where we are. And the price is the same. Also with this uh, complex where we are today, it's about... 18 dollar or 15 euro uh, air conditioned room with television uh, we have only here uh, a common kitchen for everyone well that's what's not so nice as the other one before but we still enjoy it very much when, when it's clean and when the beds are clean and everything uh, that is that's okay I don't need very much more so I show you where we are and then tomorrow in the natural reserve we will see pelicans, black cormorants and a lot of other birds. I hope when they are also awake when we are awake. <laughs> okay, see you. Ciao, ciao.